from the outside, it's not immediately clear why Mila Kunis didn't return for 2015 sequel Ted 2. Seth MacFarlane is best known as the creator of Family Guy, but while he may have evolved into something of a name brand, it took a few years to reach that point. Ted was certainly part of that success. The original Ted opened to surprisingly strong reviews, with critics being impressed by its mix of laughs and heart. It was also a major, R-rated hit and grossed nearly $550 million worldwide. However, when it came to the sequel, Lightning didn't strike twice, partly due to Kunis' absence. Ted 2 has some laughs and an interesting premise with the title character fighting for his rights to be seen as a person, but it felt forced compared to the original. Ted 2 also noticeably lacked Family Guy's Mila Kunis as Lori, John's girlfriend and eventual fiancé in the first entry. Kunis didn't return for the sequel, but there are a couple of very logical reasons for her absence. First up is that the original concept for Ted 2 was scrapped, which saw John and Ted on a wacky cross-country trip smuggling weed. Lori was still a major part of that storyline, but this was scrapped due to the release of 2013's Were the Millers, which featured a very similar concept. The plot was changed to Ted's legal battle, which necessitated the need for a lawyer character, and, according to McFarlane at least, this left little room for Lori to play a role. Why Mila Kunis wasn't in Ted 2 beyond the original narrative approach, there were some practical reasons behind Mila Kunis' Ted 2 absence. Kunis was also pregnant around the time Ted 2 was due to film, which is another key reason Laurie wasn't featured. Instead, the sequel mentioned John and Laurie are divorced, and he later falls for Amanda Seyfried's lawyer Samantha Jackson. While the follow-up did reasonable business, the gross was less than half of Ted's haul, putting doubt on a third entry coming together. Although the movie fell short in many respects, Kunis' absence for both storytelling and then personal reasons certainly didn't help. Why losing Mila Kunis hurt the Ted franchise The loss of that 70s show actress Mila Kunis between Ted and Ted 2 severely affected the franchise. The sequel took a noticeable dip in ratings, effectively ruling out the possibility for another Ted movie. For example, on the review aggregator site Rotten Tomatoes, Ted is considered fresh, earning a 69% critic score and a 73% audience score. Ted 2, on the other hand, dropped to a 44% critic score and a 50% audience score, making it certified rotten. While Amanda Seyfried is an incredible actress, her chemistry with actor Mark Wahlberg simply didn't compare to his bond with Kunis, which was one of the many complaints regarding Ted 2. Kunis simply brought something different to the screen, uniting the cast and making a genuinely funny film. While Seyfried is talented in her own right, the reasoning behind Kunis' absence is legitimate, and her disappearance works smoothly within the narrative. Mila Kunis' lack of presence is clearly felt in Ted 2, and she was very sorely missed. As such, Mila Kunis' Ted 2 absence was a major issue for the Ted franchise.